Corcovado National Park spans 164 square miles across the Osa Peninsula of southwest Costa Rica, making it the country's largest national park. Thirteen different ecosystems protect a rich biodiversity of exotic fauna and endangered animals including the Baird's Taper and Red-backed Squirrel Monkey. But it is the sheer remoteness of Corcovado that has allowed this untouched wilderness to flourish into a biodiverse paradise. Soy Gabriela Atencio, soy guía de, de turismo desde hace 10 años eh, aquí en los alrededores de Parque Nacional Corcovado, Isla del Caño, Manglar. El Parque Nacional Corcovado alberga mamíferos, aves, insectos, reptiles y creo que eso hace que el lugar sea único. El hecho que sea remoto hace que se preserve más, se conserve las especies más. En Corcovado, en Costa Rica, la única parte donde puedes encontrar los cuatro tipos de mornos es en Corcovado, en la estación de Sirena especialmente. Ahí es el único lugar donde los puedes ver. Alrededor de Costa Rica puedes ver los monos, los, los cara blanca, los aulladores, los, los arañas. Y solo en Manuel Antonio, Manglar, Sirena y una parte en, en Puerto Jiménez puedes ver los monos, los monos tipis. La población de animales en Corcovado no ha cambiado, no ha variado mucho, ya que en esta área nosotros no acostumbramos a alimentar los animales. Entonces, en esta área están muy sanos, están muy saludables todavía. O sea, algo, hay muchas cosas específicas que la gente dice, wow, debo ir a Corcovado. Una de ellas es que es uno de los lugares vírgenes que hay. Segundo, que los, los humanos somos invisibles para los animales. O sea, ellos están en lo suyo y uno está en lo de uno. Entonces es como que, mira, no, no existimos para ellos, lo cual de ningún otro lado usted va a ver un comportamiento así. El guiar personas en Corcovado, en diferentes partes de Costa Rica, es, es enseñar a las personas a concientizar a, a a respetar a la naturaleza, no mostrar lo que tenemos sin, sin tener que dañarlo, saber que uno puede disfrutar un animal, lo que sea ahí cerca, sin tener que estarlo alimentando, sin tener que estarlo acosando. Entonces el, el trabajo de un guía es prácticamente este, enseñar, educar, transmitir lo que tenemos en Costa Rica, especialmente con Cobado, que es uno de los mejores que tenemos en todo lado. Para mí es uno de los mejores lugares. Hello, my name is uh, Adrian Machad Jimenez and uh, I help here the family. My mother and my father started this hotel many years ago. I'm working here as a manager at the Drake Bay Wilderness Resort. My family came to Drake Bay originally back in 1974 roughly. My grandfather brought his family down. Uh, this was very wild. There were, there were few families here. The only way in or out was by boat. They came and they established one of the first little general stores in the area. They sort of had like a trading outpost, I guess you could call it, where they would, there would be a ship that would come once or twice a week that would bring supplies, things that people could produce in this area. And uh, at the same time, people in this area would come to him and they would sell to him like beans, um, coconuts, uh, different kinds of things, rice, and then he would sell that to the ship. And my grandfather, who, who wanted his family close to him, presented to the idea to my father and my mother, hey, why don't you buy the property from me and establish a hotel, and you guys will be here close to us. And so that's what they did. And so they started in 1985, uh, very wild, like I said, there was no cars, no automobiles, no road. There was just a dirt road connecting us with the rest of the world that would disappear basically in a rainy season. 
it's, it's harder to get supplies here, more so than many other parts of the country. That in part has helped to keep this area more pristine. Even though it's difficult for us, uh, in, a, in a way I'm thankful that things are that way because it has allowed us to have the, the nature the way it is, the, the beauty, uh, just uh, the wildness of it. In a sense, sometimes we feel like we're separate from the rest of the country. Originally, Corcovado, uh, amazingly enough, had uh, farmers, there were families living over there. Eventually, the government came in, of course, many years ago, and they, and they, they bought all these lands, and the people moved out because they wanted to preserve this area as a park. Over the, the span of um, 35, 40 years, the forest uh, regenerated itself. It was quite, it's quite amazing to see how the forest was able to recuperate. Just the peace that you have here, to be able to hear you know, the birds and the wildlife, and uh, it, it's just amazing. I can't begin to describe how it has touched my life. It's given me, for one thing, a greater appreciation for the beauty of, of this world. I hope to be able to, to share that appreciation with other people. Relax by the cool ocean breeze. Mingle with the monkeys and immerse yourself in the beauty and untamed wilderness of Corcovado National Park. Some places the trees.